Medicinal marijuana has been a hot topic for some time. While many people feel it has legitimate benefits, others feel that its supporters are simply blowing smoke. Although a good number of people use marijuana for recreational purposes, there are also many others who use it strictly for its medicinal purposes. Senator Rory Respicio is introducing a new bill that will allow doctors to prescribe medicinal marijuana to patients with debilitating conditions. We need to focus on allowing for uh, cannabis to be available for medicinal purposes. And, and when you look at the um, people who need this because they're on their deathbed, because they may have cancer or debilitating um, illness, or you look at um, individuals who don't have access to um, health care uh, and uh, medication is so expensive, people talk about Marinol. Uh, that why, why legalize uh, marijuana for medical reasons when you have Marinol that's available? But uh, go ask those same people how much Marinol costs uh, without insurance. Despite all of the benefits of marijuana, Respicio stresses that he is advocating it for medicinal use only. In order to ensure this, the use of medical marijuana must be regulated. The other thing that we did is we um, are going to call for a uh, um, policy a commission to review this because this is new um, territory here on Guam and so we have to constantly look to see what they do in the states and how they regulate this so this commission will do that and we also took a, out that section that would have removed the um, hundred dollar penalty if you're in possession of one ounce or less and we felt um, after much consideration that that may have been a backdoor way of uh, legalizing marijuana there's going to be some difficulty in the enforcement of it, in the monitoring of it. Uh, it, it, it just, and for what purpose? If it's for medicinal purpose, there are other medicines that can do that. While everyone seems to have strong positions on medicinal marijuana, ultimately Bill 423 will be decided here on the legislature floor. However, there's still plenty of time for you to speak up and voice your opinions on the matter. Keeping it local for Guam News Watch, I'm Kristen Pinko.